was a an album cover that the Beatles uh, chose for themselves and the Beatles uh, Lennon both Lennon and McCartney I don't know about the other two but Lennon and McCartney were both involved in the occult Lennon actually learned how to speak backwards which is something occultic people do there's there's tape recordings of him speaking backwards Paul McCartney if you look at his uh, album covers you will see the ram the horns it's been interviewed in in one of the people that worked with him in the band said he was very interested in the occult and practice occult things. So there you can see very early on. This is also another occultic symbol here representing 666, uh, sign of the beast. It also means okay, so be careful that you don't, you know, somebody goes like that. circumambulation into the OTA temple. The members are coming in and preparing to uh, to receive the opening charges, which, will, uh, which they'll be receiving, as they open the lodge. Now here is the high priestess opening the temple.
what, don't know nothing about what it. What is the profession? Yeah, which profession are we talking about? Just look at it. Is it a legal profession? Of course it's legal. It's only in my profession. I'm trying to read it. Okay. Uh, it's too many times. Ah, yeah, that's too bright. Oh, that's too bright. Go well, ahead, anyway. Oh, Mason, are you a Mason? <laughs> of course I am. Okay. You, 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 I'm a secret <laughs> serial. <laughs> well, you might as well put your pinky out when you. There are so many things which are happening in uh, football that are not even told and people, they don't know about them. So I decided to share with the fans and you can't say some other things. Then I try to hide away from uh, the juju thing, which was happening all the time because I was being honest to write about everything which was happening. A lot of people have had stories about Juju, be it in Zimbabwe, be it in Nigeria, be it in um, South Africa. But to actually get a player to talk about it, it is very rare. I know it is, but the thing is there. Why should we continue hiding the thing? I'm not talking about a movie here, but I am talking of the thing which is happening. This thing is happening. Does it work? Even me, I've got that question. I don't know, but to me... When I was doing it, it was because it was part of the package of playing football. You say in your book, as captain of Dynamos, it was your responsibility to make yes. sure that the juju rituals were followed. It was my duty because I was senior to all these other players. But some other young players, I mean, they can't, they don't know how to do it. They don't know how to handle it. But so what were you saying to your fellow players? How would you invite them to take part in these juju rituals? What would you say you, to them? You have to approach them and tell them, guys, we have to do it because this is what the team wants. It was all about surviving, isn't it? We had families to, <laughs> to feed. So you have to do some other things which you don't even believe in or things which you don't even understand. I mean, I'm not saying Juju works. Now, in your book, you talk about um, a particular incident that happened when you played Canon Yaoundé of Cameroon yeah, yeah. in a Champions League game mm -hmm. where a witch doctor or the Juju man yeah. came and um, cut your toes, you yeah. know, in the middle of your